Hello, and welcome back. In this episode, I thought we could have a go at making a little mausoleum. Um, you know, seeing as how Halloween is coming up. And uh, if I get the video out now, that should give you plenty of time to make one if you are planning on running a Halloween themed game later this month. So, as always, you can find a link to the PDF file that contains all of these textures down in the description. So, uh, yeah, let's make a start. Okay then, the first thing we'll need to do is glue the wall textures to some corrugated card or foam core, it doesn't really matter which, and, uh, and then, using a sharp knife, we'll cut that to size. And I've not said this for a while, but do try to be careful when using a sharp knife. Anyway, there you go, that's that done. Then we'll just need to do the same thing for the other side piece, and the front and back as well. Right then, next we'll cut out a strip of foam core, uh, the stuff I'm using is 5mm thick, and we're going to need to cut that twice as wide as the thickness. So, seeing as how mine is 5mm thick, I've cut this one 10mm wide. And we'll need to make two of those, and glue one on top of the other, so that it ends up looking something like this. And lengthwise, it just needs to be more than 7 or 8cm, so, you know, around 3 inches or more. Anyway, next we'll cut out a piece of this texture that's going to be big enough to wrap around the entire thing, so in my case that's roughly 5 centimeters or 2 inches, and, uh, and then we'll apply some glue to the back, just using a glue stick, and as I say, wrap that around the entire thing. So that, when we're done, we end up with this kind of thing that you can see here. Then, when it's had plenty of time to dry, we can cut it to size, and we'll need to make four of those. Okay, now I'll just bring the walls back in, and all we're going to do now is use these foam core pieces as the corners of the building. So, here I am hot gluing one into place, and making sure that it's flush with the back of the wall piece. So, something like this. Um, as you can see, the two back edges, they're flush with each other, as we actually want this corner pillar to be sticking out as far as possible. Anyway, all we'll need to do then is repeat the process on the other side, and then start sticking all of the walls into place, um, each time making sure that the back edge of the wall is flush with the back edge of the corner piece. Um, hopefully that makes sense. But uh, yeah, I'll leave the video running just so that you can see me assembling the entire thing. So there's the last corner being glued into place now, and that should result in this kind of thing that you can see here. Um, that's pretty much the main structure done. It's, uh, it's all fairly straightforward stuff. Though, we are going to need to add a roof, so that's what we'll do next. Okay, so we'll first take the roof texture itself, and we'll be gluing that to some thick card, um, the kind of thing that you can see here. However, before cutting it out, we will need to score it along this line. Um, just to make it easier to bend into this kind of shape. And with any luck, that should now fit snugly between the four corner posts, and also sit on top of all four walls. Which, as you can see, it does. But uh, if it doesn't, you can always trim bits away until it does. Anyway, since this one happens to be a really snug fit, um, rather than taking it apart again, I'm just going to kind of hold it in place, and apply some hot glue to the inside. Um, as you can kind of see me doing here, um, that is, when I actually manage to get it in shot. But, uh, but yeah, here's how it looks once that's been done, so again, it's not super complicated. Okay, next we'll glue one of these textures to some thick card again, um, the stuff I'm using here is around a millimetre thick, and before cutting it out, we'll need to score it along these four lines. Then, when we have cut it out, we should be able to bend it into a kind of elongated pyramid shape. So, something like this. And the last thing we'll need for each of these is part of a drinking straw, or similar. Um, one that's been cut to around a half inch long. Then, we'll just add a generous blob of hot glue to the very centre, and glue the straw into place. So, this kind of thing that you can see here. Next, we'll put some more glue around the top edge of the straw, so that when we fold the sides back into place, all four sides get pushed into that glue, um, something like that. And, uh, and then we'll just need to hold that in place until the glue sets. So there you go, 
something like that. And since we'll be sticking these on top of the four corner posts, we'll need to make four of those. However, before doing that, I like to put a little dent in the top of the foam core, um, just so that the hot glue, that's got something to pool in, as I find this helps to prevent the glue from seeping out between the two pieces, um, you know, when they're stuck together. So, uh, yeah, here I am now gluing those pieces into place, and all I'm really doing is trying to get them roughly centralised. And uh, the idea here is to just add a few spikes to the corners, uh, you know, to give it that kind of classic gothic appearance. And when that's done, this is how it should look. And if you like, you could call that done, but uh, we can add a few more details to the piece, uh, you know, if you have the time and inclination. So uh, that's what we'll do next. Right then, as I say, this next part is optional, but if you like, you can glue the archways to some more of the thick cardboard. Uh, again, this stuff I'm using is around a millimeter thick, and then cut them out when they're dry. And we can do that for all four of the small archways, the larger arch and the door frame, and the decorative strips as well. Then we'll take the window sills, and if you have some, glue those to some thicker card. Um, this stuff here is around two millimeters thick. And not surprisingly, we'll cut those to size as well. So that's the four smaller sills and the longer one. There you go. So if I just give myself a bit more space to work in, um, all we're going to do with these is stick them on top of the corresponding textures that you can see on the walls. And uh, I like to use a bit of PVA glue for this part. So here I am applying some glue to the back of the large window sill and then gluing that into place. I'll then do the same thing with the kind of decorative apex piece and stick that into place as well. And finally, I'll do the same thing with the window frame itself. Though, obviously, this isn't meant to be an actual window. It's, uh, it's just decoration on the mausoleum that's been made to look like a window. Anyway, here's the kind of thing we're trying to achieve with these. Um, you know, just something to make the walls look a little less flat. So, uh, I'll go ahead and really speed this next part up again as I, I do the same thing for all of the other bits and pieces. And there you have it, there's the finished mausoleum, though uh, these extra pieces they probably are not showing up very well on camera, but uh, they do make a bit of a difference to how the whole thing looks. Anyway, the last thing that's included in this PDF is a basic floor tile, and all I've done with this is glued it to some thick card and cut it to size. And the idea here is that it simply fits underneath the mausoleum, um, like so, and when the characters enter, we can just lift off the main piece and reveal the interior. So here's a better look at the whole thing from a different angle, uh, alongside some of the graveyard pieces from episode 80, and uh, if I remove the mausoleum, you can also see how we can furnish the inside with various bits and pieces from some of the previous videos, um, like you can see here with the tomb from episode 75 for example. And uh, yeah, I think that's it for this episode, so thank you for watching. Um, if you are planning on running a Halloween game this year, then hopefully by releasing this video at the beginning of October, um, that will give you plenty of time to make something like this. Um, you know, assuming you actually might need a mausoleum, that is. But, uh, but yeah, thanks again, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.